Okay, let's start. Okay, uh, let me introduce myself. Myself is uh, Carlos, and this is Jose Luis. We are from the OpenStreetMap Catalan community, and we're here to know about this speech, Why Open Data Movement Meets OSM. Okay, OpenStreetMap. Okay, uh, this is some of our, our users from the Catalan speaker community. Okay, and well, this is a meeting in Girona. Uh, last year, 2014. <clears throat> What's OpenStreetMap? Okay, first question. Uh, OpenStreetMap is a geo database uh, based in uh, WPGS 8.4, an approximation to uh, cartographic use, and it's a project based in a collaborative and volunteer work between users. Okay, so it's like it's a kind of Wikipedia of maps. So uh, it's an uh, open data. It's uh, this part is free to use. Uh, it's based in an open data commons open database license. So it's a it's a different different license than Creative Commons you like. It is a another type of license. And the community um, we emphasize about local knowledge. We always say okay, mm, you have uh, orto photo map, orto orto photos. Aerial imagery, and you can uh, cartograph uh, different zones. Uh, maybe you are from Catalonia, and you can edit zones in America or in Africa. But uh, we want you to edit mostly your uh, your proximity zones, your local zones, because you have more knowledge about uh, you know your your region, your municipality. Uh, okay, and. We have a lot of users, so and maybe a user can upload uh, an edit, an error, an error, a mistake, or a name. But uh, we have a lot of users, so they uh, continue uh, constantly are reviewing all the changes, so they can detect if uh, some some users, you know, maybe put the name Plaza Catalunya in wrongly, so another users uh, see that and correct. And well. Contributor, contributors uh, include uh, mappers, GIS professionals, engineers, WASM servers. I'm an environmental scientist. I'm not uh, informatics or something like our engineer. So I'm interested in, in the environment and also the, uh, the you know the the use of the open data for um, different goals like trans public transport, uh, waste management, water supplies. That can be, you know, managed uh, using GIS, geographic information. Uh, so this is the difference. And in OpenStreetMap, we have uh, uh, this license. It's a kind of uh, creative, com creative Commons share alike. Okay, so you are free to share, adapt, and create. You can edit uh, all the map, different zones, and change uh, different things. And this map, all the all the things that uh, people upload, are public. So if you are using um, different information from another suppliers, it has to be public because uh, once you upload already this information in OpenStreetMap, it's going to be public uh, to everyone. And the difference uh, between this is OpenStreetMap and other. Uh, Another open open geo database between non open data alternatives is, is like uh, you have no direct access to raw data. So in OpenStreetMap you can uh, upload, um, download the data from the zone and see all the information that any user uploaded. Uh, yeah, you cannot export uh, data in some some servers like Google Maps, and um, you have to use uh, the way Google Maps want, want the company uses their maps. You cannot export to different, uh, you know, to different formats that they don't allow. They don't allow. Uh, in Google Maps, in some places, are allowed it, but uh, not in Spain now. You cannot edit directly uh, some, you know, mistakes that you uh, check in the map, and uh, there's no local knowledge applied. Google Maps uh, works uh, about works, you know, um, 
with public agencies, so public uh, Google Maps, uh, by you know uh, the National uh, Geographic Institution, maps and information, or by to different agencies and companies this information and bring together to the Google Maps. So sometimes there's a mistake in these agencies and it's been uploaded to Google Maps and you cannot edit directly. This is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about this uh, later because it's important now. Uh, some, some, uh, some aspects about the history of a stream map. A stream map was founded uh, by Steve Coast in England. Uh, was present in the World Four. And it was been, you know, increasing uh, the numbers of users constantly, uh, increasing the numbers of uh, third-party applications, also uh, related applications and programs that uh, we use to edit and to export or import data. <coughs> also, we have um, some <coughs> some companies that are interested to improve the OpenStreetMap uh, data, like uh, Yahoo or Bing. So. Um, Microsoft uh, let us use some aerial imagery from Microsoft to edit uh, OpenStreetMap data. Also, Yahoo uh, give us some material to work with. Um, what else? Uh, 2012, uh, the uh, OpenStreetMap changed from Sherlock Sh uh, to Open Database license, you know, to to improve the uh, the data and adapt to to its goal, that is to be free to adapt and to share to everyone. And this this year, 2012, there's um, there's two important things. Google Maps API are not uh, longer free for some for some projects or for some reasons. And also, Google Maps um, make a fake or a wrong uh, street translator in Catalonia. Uh, Formally, we use Catalan, and in the, all the streets are in Catalan. If not, they are in Aranias, in the Valderan. So Google Maps just buy uh, some information to an agency and upload. So um, in 2012, you can find found a, a street with Catalan name and not a Spanish translated name, even only you know a past name in Franco's dictatorship name. So you can see uh, Avenue Diagonal and also Avenue Cabo Sotelo or some names that are directly connected to this dictatorship period. So and that's the reason OpenStreetMap increased a lot in his presences in, in, in Catalonia media. So a lot of uh, users start to edit in OpenStreetMap because of that, because of this mistake with Google Maps that uh, all the Catalan media starts showing. So this increase all the, uh, you see that's the, the main reason in Catalonia, there's a lot of users uh, supporting OpenStreetMap. And also in 2013, uh, we just met another, you know, like uh, connected project. It's Mapillary, it's a crowd source, uh, crowd funded uh, project. It's about a uh, street view project that competes directly with Street View. So, and because uh, OpenStreetMap don't have, uh, you know, we have uh, maps, we have geodata, but we don't have a Street View, or we don't have a routing, you know, to go from one place to another place. So Mapillary, you know, is like our support uh, to compete with uh, Google Maps in this, in this case, in Street View. Okay. Well, this is the from 2005 2014 the increase of users. This is the actually this is the increase of users, but not all the users are active. And but if we only see the active users, they are also increasing all the years. And the statistics, nodes, ways, uh, number of relations, the types of uh, of editings that are being changed year year after year. And also, uh, there's a you have the possibility to to, exp, uh, to import to OpenStreetMap your data. When you go hiking, you ring your GPS device, you record the the track, and you can upload uh, to OpenStreetMap and edit 
uh, this this track and say okay from here to here it's uh, it's like a footway or this this you know the, this uh, this distance is uh, steps or something like that and well in 2015 uh, that's a resume of, uh, of uh, numbers users change sets it's a collection of uh, different edit, edits about uh, elements, and nodes, ways, relations that are being made in 2000, uh, until 2015. So, how OpenStreetMap are supported? There is a foundation beyond OpenStreetMap. It's OpenStreetMap Foundation, and it's been uh, and it's been uh, supporting and you know and reviewing all the license about OpenStreetMap. So if you wanna, you, you want to use this information, or you want, you need to you know to, to use the API or some of the stuff that needs to be approved, you have to talk with the uh, Osman Foundation. And um, there's a non-profit organization uh, founded in United Kingdom by Steve Coast. Uh, it's on, like an assembly. Um, the data uh, is not owned by the <coughs> Osman Foundation. The data is a uh, collective. So uh, all the license, and when you uh, publish a map using OpenStreetMap data, uh, it, it, it says all OpenStreetMap contributors. Because uh, all users um, are, you know, are the users that have to be an attribute, have to receive the attribute about these maps. Uh, well, it's being funded, uh, receive funds from different companies, also some members, uh, uh, what, 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 uh, yeah. and crowdsourcing, yeah, crowdsourcing, and also um, from materials, hardware, and, and servers, there are some universities, and companies, and non-profit organizations that support and the community history in Catalonia um, starts with a tall cut uh, email group. Okay, so we only first we only ha have a way to communicate with all the users, uh, with all Catalan speakers users, and we decided to form a community, a formal community that. Uh, combines all the Catalan users and all the Catalan speakers in uh, these regions. So we are not only the Catalan from Catalonia community, we are uh, the, the Catalan community to uh, people from North uh, Catalonia, from South France, from Valencia, from Balearic Islands, from Catalonia. Because we don't want to um, work only uh, with a Catalonia country, we work about this uh, the culture and Catalan speakers. It's one of the reasons. In 2010, uh, there's a global meeting. It's a state of the map uh, that's being uh, performed in Girona, where different uh, communities from around the world, South Africa and Europe, come to Girona to discuss different different. Uh, things about the future of OpenStreetMap and, and uh, the status of the organization. In 2014, we performed the first formal meeting on April in Girona also. And we create the profile of OSM in Catalan. Until, until this date, we don't have you know, any, any visual uh, presence in internet or any presence about uh, as a community. In 2015, we have a second meeting, and uh, <coughs> some of our community starts uh, creating a OS bot for Telegram, for Telegram, and different programs and and you know guides to help people to use OpenStreetMap. Well, and now the interesting thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, 
OpenStreetMap is, is an open to database. You can upload any kind of data you want to use. So, people are, that are interested in public transport. So, you have the inside your database the public transport. So, you can choose to only see uh, and how way you see the information in, a, in an image, in, a, in a different tiles. You can see the, the cycle maps. No? Information about uh, uh, streets or different ways that are available to go by bike. You can uh, download information from OpenStreetMap and create a three-dimensional uh, three, three uh, image. And also, uh, you can use it to create games, virtual games. You can use also for transport, for trucks. So if I have a truck, I can just set the, the maximum height and weight, and I and I have a map, so I know where where I can go and which street I cannot pass because my my weight. Uh, you can use also it for hydrants. So you have uh, the location of, of hydrants, and also uh, you can put. Uh, Information about the type of uh, the type of hydrant, uh, pressure. Okay, so it's it's useful for municipalities and public agencies and different kind. You also uh, uh, there's a lot of types of maps. There's uh, <laughs> there's also uh, an erotic map. If you, if you wanna search also you what's a quantum machine or what's a you know. You can you can search that if you want to uh, search uh, about uh, defibrillator, you know, if somebody has a heart attack, you can search it. And there's some uh, some third part uh, maps or pages that uh, focus on this map, this data, and shows you. So this this map uh, tries to show you only the transport. These other maps are showing you the range of this hydrant. Uh, and the distance that the truck can can reach the the hydrant. Also, it's also an opportunity for social causes. So uh, we have no some problems of accessibility in our town or city. So people can just map these problems. So you can enter. Uh, right, sorry. You can enter this information in a in our OpenStreetMap database and uh, and this third party web that calls WebMap can you can show you as this is specific information clearly. So if I'm if I'm I I'm, I use a wheelchair, I know that I cannot use this uh, bathroom because it's not accessible, but I can go to maybe this fountain. Because to go to, to reach this one thing, I I got you know a, a plain way to pay for me. There's also some uh, global projects like Mapathonia. It's a it's a project that wants to edit all the the zone, uh, all the natural zone of, uh, of Amazonas, different rivers that goes together. Okay. There's also um, uh, use another use of OpenStreetMap is a humanitarian response and economic development. So we can use uh, OpenStreetMap to create uh, up, um, updated data, up to date, to use it for logistics, for uh, medicines on frontier, uh, Red Cross, and other different non-profit organizations. So we have a uh, humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. This OpenStreetMap open team is like um, a project between uh, OpenStreetMap and Medicine Sans Frontier or Red Cross. So it's it's a link between them. And when Red Cross needs uh, logistic information about uh, some places that uh, that um, you know there's a there's a crisis, some place like Ebola or Nepal or so humanitarian is the link between the, the mappers and the 
nonprofit organizations. So maybe uh, there's now a crisis, a catastrophe. So humanitarian open stream map um, activates an alert. An alert. So all the all the users around the world receive information about this crisis and start editing the zone. The zone, the, the non-profit organization, needs uh, update, up-to-date information. Okay. So, some examples. Uh, some floods, uh, earthquakes in Nepal, typhoons in Filipinas. And when that happens, uh, there's a task manager um, that let us uh, you know edit these zones without, you know, um, without uh, any <coughs> problem, something like that. Um, the task managers um, set the zone we need to beam up, and also set uh, which kind of items and amenities needs to be mapped. So in, in these cases in Nepal, we have some problems with uh, buildings that collapse. So we have two types of imagery before and after the, the earthquake, so we can uh, check which building uh, collapsed or not. So we uh, create a map with specific tags for this earthquake that uh, Red Cross can use to check these buildings that uh, collapse and, and search for people inside the buildings. When catastrophe um, is activated in humanitarian open stream map, in maybe two days, uh, this map can pass to this map with a lot of information about any kind because all the users, or mostly the users, are trying to help in this crisis. So in maybe in two, in two days after the crisis, we've got uh, all the Nepal uh, zones uh, affected map. It's, it's a good help. How we edit uh, the map? So there's two things uh, to be in the order. We have elements <coughs> and tags. First, uh, in, in the map, the, uh, you, you can put just a node uh, that has latitude and longitude that describes a specific point in the, in the map and the reality. If you put more or not more nodes connected between them, you you draw away. That's, that, that's simple. Okay. And if you draw an area, you can you can draw with us a, po a polygon or an area closed. And you can also relate different <coughs> different items. So maybe I create uh, trees for Catalonia Square, and then I create uh, the streets around Catalonia Squares. So I can put uh, relations saying, okay, all these items are in the Catalonia Square zone. Then they have a relation between them. There's also tags. Tags are a form uh, with uh, a key and a value. So you can say a note. Uh, okay, this note it's a tree. On the value, uh, we can say okay, this note is a tree. Key and which kind of tree? Maybe it's a, a palm, palm tree, something like that. You can add maybe it's a shop. Uh, so I can say, okay, this note is a shop, and it's a shop, and it's a bakery shop. No, I can specify. I can say anything you can imagine. Okay, this shop has with Wi-Fi. No, I can say, okay, Wi-Fi and value. Yes, yes, I'm official. So uh, a, a note and way an area or a polygon can have more than one tag referring to different items and attributes. Maybe oh, okay. There's another way to to edit a map for people in in different in different zones uh, without access to internet or maybe people without uh, knowledge <coughs> of informatics and computer. And there's a third party project it's, uh, it's named Working Papers. When you print a zone, 
you can give this paper to maybe you know an old uh, an old lady and uh, an old an old man and uh, to read okay what's in this zone uh, how's what's the name of uh, you know this area or what's the name of this street because sometimes it's uh, about, we talk about culture and okay in this zone there, there was a monument and what's the name of the monument also some sometimes so they draw in the paper and then this paper can be scanned and uploaded to the server and another upstream uh, map user receives this information and can edit it in the, in the database are you okay? Or mm -hmm. information? If, if, if you want to stop me and ask me something okay. another kinetic projects Wikidata and Wikipedia this is a particular <coughs> kind of a stress uh, project because I participate uh, I and another another user uh, pass uh, uh, <coughs> two weeks updating all the Wikidata and search all the Wikidata from different regions, municipalities, counties of Catalonia and adding into an uh, open stream map. So we pass from this type of information of Wikidata to this one in two weeks. So we spent two and three weeks searching Wikidata codes, Wikipedia codes, and adding all the information to the all the cities, municipalities, counties, vagarias, another type of uh, um, administration. Yeah. <coughs> and thanks, thanks, of, thanks that um, uh, bot. Uh, a, bot of, uh, a bot can you know, link between these maps and Wiki Wikipedia and Wikidata. So if you search uh, maybe in Barcelona or another city, you can see a code and uh, a tag that says Wikidata and the code. And a bot uh, can uh, link this information to Wikipedia and add directly, automatically, this information to Wikipedia. So if you are reading uh, an article in the Wikipedia or a map in, you know, a stream map this information or link so to edit uh, this information we have uh, different options desktop, browser, mobile options uh, the main editor, the most important editor is Joseph okay. we, we use this editor for mostly anything and um, when we need to import some data that's the only editor we can use there's also browser and mobile Vespucci is one, one of the most important there's also editors for iPhone so you can go walking and just add information to the open database okay. Some examples. Uh, these editors have access to uh, the same database. Yeah. So you can edit the same data from several yeah. places. And these guys have some kind of special API access to edit yeah, the data. Something like this? Yeah. There's, there's some editors. There's a third party editors. But if I want to create an editor, I cannot yeah, you, you alter can, the data right away. You can create a new editor, just request an API code. Okay. And uh, you just access the, the data. Right away, the actual data you can upload. There's there's more than, than these editors. There's a lot. There's also a, a specific editor for hydrants. So you can just uh, if you are a fireman, you you have an editor specific specific only for you. Okay, but all the data are collected inside one own uh, unique database. That's the, that's the key. Of the open stream mapper. all the data is collected in one place. So it's it's open open stream map. It's not the map you are seeing, the image or the tiles you, you created. It's the data base. So you can create uh, every image, every map to one with the data. Mm, some examples uh, for browser ID. It's one of the most uh, 
most improved maybe tools now, nowadays. And there's also uh, actually it's linked to Mapillary. This uh, Mapillary is a, a third-party project about uh, street views. So you can uh, edit this zone and also access to to the different images from Mapillary inside the same editor. Just, just there's a lot of options. Uh, you can upload images, work with images, with uh, imports. You can do mostly everything with this editor. It's based in Java. And it's, it's the main editor we, we always recommend to use. This which is the, it's the editor of OneDrive. Okay. Uh, there's another editor for OneDrive uh, to add only address house numbers or only track uh, your records and upload later uh, to OpenStream map but this is the most uh, complete uh, editor for Android so you can uh, you can uh, download a zone to see uh, which kind of data there's actually a, a, a appearing inside the database and create new nodes, ways or edit and you can upload right away uh, using your mobile new connection. And another case is to export, import data from to OpenStreetMap. So uh, from this map you can directly uh, export uh, image, PDF. Also the main uh, format of geographic information is not OSM. You can use it in this, uh, this data to to collect uh, maybe the entire globe, so you can uh, you can export the entire global data inside. Uh, I think it's uh, uh, seven hundred gigabytes. I don't know how many. Uh, I don't remember. Like you, you can have in 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 a pen drive, sorry, the entire global data, and you can. Uh, work with this with this data using uh, different editors like uh, QGIS, Phantom GIS, and there's uh, an ex export editors and export tools that can change the uh, format OSM to shape the most common. There's also in, in Geo Fabric, in Geo Fabric website, you can also uh, download this information in you know, in PDF shape and on other types of formats. But the main format is OSM, and you can work with that using QGIS and other editor. Then you can also import data to OpenStreetMap, but this data has to be public. Has to be, has to be a public domain, and all or or either ways, all the agencies or the the government has to agree that this data is going to be public if you upload it to OpenStreetMap. So uh, mostly, mostly the data comes from governmental open data, like states, regions, agencies, etc. In Spain, Catalonia, uh, the main data comes from Cadastro, Cadastro data. Catalonia, they change uh, thanks to the to the transparency law, they change uh, a lot of licenses. So now, uh, Catalan Geographic uh, Institute is now in. in Free license in common Creative Commons share alike. It is SIGPAC and there are other public domain data sources that you can upload, but you have to you have to be sure that this data yeah, is gonna be public. So maybe there's uh, well, sometimes I, I have uh, a case with uh, some private building that agrees to be uh, edit in OpenStreetMap. So the only thing you have to be aware that is that the ownership of the data agrees with that. And that's all. Uh, another um, ways to use the, this data. We have a mining tool. It's Overpass Turbo. It's also another third third website where you can just uh, check some information to filter the results and. Uh, and work with that, you know, uh, seeing the map, uh, how many points, how many nodes, 
apply to this information, this filter, or you can just you know count this information for different different goals that you may have. But, uh, you can export uh, data to GPX, George Jotason. Jotason is the most in one of the most important uh, formats because they um, uh, this format uh, standard. Yeah, it's it's like a, a standard, so you can use it in many editors and and sources uh, server to publish you know, some points or some uh, publicity information, different kinds of stuff. UMAP. Uh, UMAP is uh, one of the answers to Google Maps, to my maps. Um, it's all, also another project linked to OpenStreetMap uh, where you can upload different information, drag. It's uh, useful to create um, personal maps for you know, commercials, uh, events. You know? In this case, this, this image. It's from my town. It's for the the festivity of some designs. So you can see um, where where you can go. That's all. And it's using uh, also the imagery of OpenStreetMap. Map. The imagery of both is created by the Swedish community. In this case, uh, what else? Leaflet. So you also can use this image directly in, in your website using leaflet or maybe Probably CloudMate, uh, Cartodb. Cartodb, you create a tile, a tile server or you can access an, uh, a website that uh, gives you tiles as the images above the, above the map and you can upload it into your map. You can create uh, <coughs> your website in HTML5 and also to leave that. There's also a web page called osmf 2 go that uh, it's, it's linked to OpenStreetMap and has instructions to you know to informatics engineers to pass from Google Maps and other servers or other map servers to OpenStreetMap. So you you can you can find in this this web page guidelines to use leaflet and different uh, ways to manage the, this information to put it in your website or in your application. There's also an, uh, an uh, a library for Android called Awesome Droid. So you can uh, use also this map in your application. So you don't have to pay Google Maps for the API. But, so you said that um, OpenStreetMap doesn't have tiles, only has the data. Yeah. So okay. when you use Leaflet or this Android uh, yeah. library, where do you get the tiles from? The tiles sometimes there's sometimes created by the by the OSM Foundation that are you know main tiles. Person. But if you want a personalized uh, tile, you can create it by yourself to create a server by yourself or yeah, if I went, if I just want the street, uh, the foundation hosts tiles for the the, for the, 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 the street. The yeah. foundation uh, hosts the child database. So if you want to create uh, an image only to show the streets, you can create a server that's uh, that, uh, to filter this information. So, but with leaflet, you don't need to host the tiles yourself. No. Where do they get the tiles from? There's some, uh, how to say it? It's, it's, it's a service. It's a, a web page yeah, that uh, you know, sells and <coughs> works with info, uh, open stream of information. It's, uh, now, nowadays, the most important is Cartodb. So you can go to Cartodb web page, um, find a zone, uh, edit all the details. Okay, I want this street with this color, with this. Uh, this type of shape, and uh, you you get them 
uh, code from CartoDB linked to your your account. Mm -hmm. But these are um, sometimes you have to pay for this uh, third part service. But if you can do it by yourself, if you have a server, you can create a Ubuntu server to do it, to create uh, images from the raw to data. So there's different kinds of services that uh, are like uh, link intermediaries from your database to to the uh, finally user. So there are no tiles hosted by OpenStreetMap. Yeah, there's some. So there are some tiles that you can use, but um, only showing the streets. There's no. There's no tile. There's a. I'm gonna show you a web page. This is the OpenStreetMap web page. So, this main uh, tile is created by OpenStreetMap Foundation. Okay, you can also change the types of tiles, and you have uh, another tiles uh, that you can use from OpenStreetMap. But if you want or you need uh, different type of tiles, you have to create yourself <coughs> or uh, use a third-party website. So, so, but as long as I, I, if I'm fine with these ones, I can just use. And you can use, but only the standard. Mm -hmm. There's a standard, and the other, the other maps are only shown in the website. Okay. So, in this in this type of map, no, you're showing what you only want to know uh, some information that can be useful for cycling. So you have uh, fountains, and okay. in La Palma there's no uh, <laughs> cycling weights, okay. But if you go to Mapa, okay, go to San Vicente, please. <laughs> <laughs> go to San Vicente. Okay. Yeah. So now in this map, you can see some contour lines. Okay, for altitude, uh, fountains, steps, uh, you know, bars. Fountains, and if you put transport, transport, and if you put transport, you can filter this information and okay, and say okay, if I want to see exactly in transport, I'm gonna make sure that uh, the user or the the people who read this map uh, see the transport clearly. So I uh, highlight it with in red and all the buildings that are not useful for this goal for transport of the public. And I'm gonna put it in, you know, in black and white you know, to create information. And if I want to, you know, with a monetary map, you no, know, for information of amenities can be that can be useful for for customer service or you know, shops, you no, know, to be clear, what's the transport map, uh, different shops, amenities, information. You know, and also you can activate the uh, an option to check the, info, the directly information. No? You can click this no? information. No? What is information? No? I have a okay. <laughs> no, this building. Okay, this building. I have a, this building has a key and a value. No? It's a building and type of building. Residential. Another type. This is olive. No, this is a type, but it's a natural type, it's a tree. What type of tree? It's a species, or the Europeae. It's an, an olive tree. Okay? So this is a bakery now. Where is located this bakery? Okay, in Spain. Okay, that's uh, that's okay. <laughs> but the name of the bakery, the type of the shop, no, it's a bakery, type of shop, no, the name, no, it's that's a more common uh tax used. And you can access directly to this data because this data uh, has linked the, the codes of the nodes to uh, draw this information. So you have a building. Uh, in, in actually, you have an attack linked to different coordinates that are linked together, drawing this this building. And you can use uh, an editor. In this case, ID, 
not to change uh, information. Uh, you can change uh, in a raw way or maybe uh, support. Okay, so adding cost of uh, street, house number. Okay, you can add whatever you want. In this case, uh, I said about the local knowledge. So this is my town. And I work uh, a lot adding uh, this information, like two years, you know, driving it because sometimes when you try to import data, the data you are trying to import is not correct or is uh, is not up to date. So in this case, uh, cadastro inf information from public government, Spanish government, is not correct at all in this case. So you have to pass. This information and draw it by yourself using imagery and local knowledge. Because if not, yeah, sometimes you create uh, there's streets or buildings in the in a, inside the river. Sometimes, so you, you can you can see in some places a street inside the river or building because the uh, cadastro and another information, public information are wrong. You upload data to the data database. Okay. Yep. Next. Tiempo? Yeah? Okay. Other third party apps and programs using OpenStreetMap. Some, some types of, of apps. Okay. Mapillary using the, the, the tiles and also helping us. Uh, no? Giving us uh, image information about streets, Osman, okay, uh, an application for Android that uses uh, an Android and iOS that uses OpenStreetMap. You can also data directly using Osman, Osman, and and before Google Maps start uh, offering offline maps, Osman are offering before on Google Maps. So uh, years before uh, Google Maps, there is an offline. Uh, alternative Garmin, uh, Cloudman, uh, Movit, public transport, Apple. Uh, we have some problems because there's a lot of uh, web pages and programs and applications that are using OpenStreetMap data without uh, uh, sharing attribution to OpenStreetMap contributors, like uh, sometimes Apple and also Google Maps. So sometimes we have uh, problems with Google Maps because uh, Google Maps uh, receives information for, from public from, from public government agencies, but these public or, uh, agencies sometimes take information from OpenStreetMap. So uh, we received and we checked and we are aware that uh, sometimes uh, Google Maps are mm, uploading public data into Google Maps as copyright data of Google Maps. So it's a, that's a big problem. How do you find out? Because um, <laughs> or do you inject paper we, we, know, we, know, we know it. So we make uh, mistakes in the maps in, pro, in purpose. Paper down. Yeah. So uh, or sometimes uh, there's a mistake in the map. We correct this mistake and a month later uh, it's been shown in the Google Maps. So sometimes we create uh, fake towns, and uh, a month later it's been shown in Google Maps. Or sometimes uh, uh, you, you can you can edit just a footway, a footway with just a meter, and it's uh, so narrow. And Google Maps just upload it as a street. So uh, uh, Google Maps uh, don't have you know this type of resolution and this type of information to upload it into its own servers. So that's, you know, it's kind of strange. Or you, ch you change uh, some names or some places and a month or three months later, Google Maps are showing these names. So what do you end up doing? <laughs> In this case, we cannot do so much. We, we can't, we, the only thing we are trying to do is that Every every app or every government that are using Google Maps, 
pass to OpenStreetMap. Uh, we start uh, talking to Generalitat de Catalunya because the Generalitat de Catalunya starts uh, being interested to use OpenStreetMap in different projects. Uh, as I said, uh, there's a problem with Google Maps uh, about translators in 2012 that makes uh, gover uh, Catalan government being more interested in using OpenStreetMap and to create uh, his own tiles and his own information because you can also uh, upload uh, names in different languages so you can have Barcelona and you can see Barcelona name uh, in Ukrainian and Russian, Swedish so, Yeah, I remember. Okay. No? You can see, no? There's a, the main name, the default name, no? the official name, Plaza Catalunya. The name in Catalan, the same. The name in, in Dutch, Catalonian Platz, in English, in Spanish. So, if you want to, to create an app uh, for Swedish people, for Polish people, you can uh, specify, okay, use it uh, first, uh, the name in Polish, and if not, the default. And you can have uh, an image with the, all the information in different languages, usually. Okay, but this information has to be uploaded for you for users. Uh, I don't know if okay, we have time. Okay, the last, the last <laughs> okay. slides. If you want to ask more things. Well, we can talk later as well. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We will have some time for two okay. years. Okay. Strength. Okay. Uh, how to enter map? No. It's the, uh, the most important alternative to Google Maps. Uh, you know, uh, globally, and uh, being supported by different agencies, uh, users, communities, and organizations. Um, it makes it easy for startups to create different applications and uh, and achieve different goals. So you can create a startup to you may you know uh, okay for runners, no? And to say the runner where's the nearest uh, fountain, something like that, or find the you know the the nearest uh, you know uh, footway, no? Or right way for horses. Uh, there's a huge community trying to improve the data. No? Sometimes uh, it's an uh, inconvenient, but also uh, advanced. When you try to stay focused on local, on local knowledge, you can improve your zone. No? So uh, I can improve my zone, uh, adding uh, 3D information, adding phone numbers, contact numbers, that other people cannot do it, uh, you know, looking at the aerial imagery uh, to another place, you know, a thousand kilometers away. No. In this case, it completes data. It makes data more difficult to be, um, to be created, because you have to be, uh, you, have, you, have, you need to have this local knowledge. But if you, but in, in one way or another, this information is more completed, but not globally. So in in OpenStreetMap, uh, if you try to search in England or in in Deutschland, the information in these places are better than in Spain because there's a lot of users uploading this information and started earlier than Spanish people. And there is a lot of uh, uh, open data yeah. sets. Um, here. Yeah. Um, well, witnesses. Uh, well, it's not completed. Some zones of uh, OpenStream apps are in blank. It needs some users to fill it with information because we don't use, uh, you know, generally, we don't do global imports from data because we, um, we know that uh, in Massive imports from public data can be, you know, uh, 
oh, inconvenient because uh, this data can be wrong and it's it's better you to create the data and not to import wrong data that's the way it's, it's the same in Barcelona in Barcelona we have a problem with buildings with buildings and some information because uh, some people start importing data uh, about buildings uh, wrongly and without checking uh, the information to with locals so we have now um, buildings uh, one above another so we have to correct them now and it's better uh, not to import if you are not sure or you are not local of the region uh, uh, publicity uh, OpenStreetMap is a non-profit organization so we do not, not have support for publicity we only have uh, networks uh, social media Networking. Yeah, working, working and when there's a, some mistake, uh, we have social social media. Some sometimes uh, we are the first users to change uh, information in a map. So uh, this year, uh, uh, a county was created in in Catalonia, and Muyanes. So it was a new county. So the same day, five uh, four hours after the parliament parliament. Uh, agrees with this law and creates the officially uh, this county. We started to to update all the data Oops. to correct it. Uh, also, uh, last year another town changes its name. We changed the name the same day, just uh, you know, ten minutes, ten minutes after. And Google Maps, uh, you know, uh, has to has to pass three or five months to build an apps to upload this data. Yes. And opportunities, okay. Um, one of the, the things we are trying to, to make is uh, encourage people, governments and agencies to change to OpenStreetMap and you know, and also the create developers and, and different agencies, you know, to, to increase the, the presence. And three threats. Uh, well, okay. Sometimes uh, some people are just uh, lazy, <coughs> okay, and prefer to use uh, you know, uh, a uh, service like Google Maps instead of uh, trying to spend a little bit of time to create a better uh, application with better information and open. So uh, this is easy. In this case, it's because it's uh, lazy, lazy people. And I spend a lot of time, uh, a lot of time talking with uh, public governments and municipalities of the same issue and sending step-by-step -step instructions without any result. So it's kind of difficult. Uh, well, uh, some, some, uh, sometimes there are some uh, um, fakes or vandalic acts in the maps, but in this case, uh, there's not so many, and we also have a history of changes, so we can uh, reverse these changes if we detect it. Yeah. And there's a strange case in in, in, in 2014 uh, related to the Catalonia news and you know about the referendum and all the stuff. And some user has uh, an application installed in the browser and change all the information related to Catalonia and change the name Catalonia into Ponylandia and some you know different kind of of, of stuff. And, but we detected that and reversed the, the changes. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Any questions? <laughs> okay.